time, I promise. I promise I will n I will not. I will not. Listen, I need... You know what? Actually, I do need you one last time. No, no, it's not one last time. Actually, I gotta sleep. This won't be our final ride together, Clyde. Don't worry. We're gonna have a great, great life. All right? You're gonna live forever. This is good. This is not like a goodbye forever. This is like a goodbye, like, so you can live long. And so I can work more efficiently. This is fine. Don't, don't, don't be sad. Don't be sad. Just stay right there. Stay right there. Um, I just got to look at something. Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes, Climb. It's fine. 25 diamonds for an elytra. All right. 25 diamonds. Okay. All right. No big deal. Just going in. Just going into the um, shop to not get much. Just, um, there's 10. Stop crying. Stop crying, Climb. It's fine. It's fine. Just, uh... Oh, and they're not even, oh, they're not even enchanted. Okay, I got to enchant them myself. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'll need rockets as well, it looks like. It's fine. Climb. Quiet. Quiet. This looks like rockets if I've ever seen it. Flight rockets. There we go. Flight rockets. One diamond per stack. Okay, that's, that's good. Let's get uh, four stacks. We grab a mending book. And an unbreaking book. Climb! Hey, see you later! All right, I gotta go. I gotta go see Scar for something. Oh, look at him with the, with the sun yeah, backdrop. Uh, okay. It's an epic moment. What's he doing? Oh boy. He's gonna try to Here land this? But he's, he's gonna, gonna go. He's clutching for red tape or permits or something. I don't know. We just okay. want to see some blood. Okay. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Uh -oh. Here he goes. Here he goes. Dead. Oh. Wow. Oh, <laughs> okay, he's ready to oh, jump. He's going. He's going. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, oh, he did it. Oh. First try. Wow. Impressive. Impressive. Oh, I love to see. Hey, look at the symmetry oh on this uh, water. Climb, don't worry, okay? Don't worry, it's fine. I just had to fly for a second, and now I'm back. And I left Climb at the shopping district, not here. Everything's fine. I was only gone for a second. Everything's fine. You probably liked the alone time. It was probably great. Okay, wonderful. See, see, I'm back, I'm back on my horse, and I'm going to make a concerted effort to keep riding. Okay, so today's a big day. It's a big, 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 big day. This city, which I'm so excited about, I don't know if, if you guys are aware of this, but Impulse and I are working on this big area, not to just make something beautiful, but it's also going to be a game. And Impulse is working out the details of that, uh, but it's going to be amazing. And I wanna make it, I wanna help make it a beautiful game. And Impulse, as well, is doing that. So this here, he's already started. This is going to be like a humongous tower. For example, that he's... I'm busy! A huge tower that will be like a dropper map. Which is going to be so cool. There's going to be so much cool stuff in this area. So it, of course, like, if you didn't pick it up before, uh, Impulse is one of the masters of function on this server. Uh, so him and I combining on this project, I think, is going to be unbelievable. I'm so excited about it. And, of course, we made this in our first uh, foray. <laughs> foray. 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 Into this area. I want to now get this street figured out. I want to work out how this is going to really give a vibe for how this place is going to feel. Climb, I'll be right back. When I talk about feel, this is what I'm talking about. Last episode, we really focused on that. This little project, this landscape project that took so long, so long, very meticulously placing grass and certain flowers in the fields and stuff like that. But this, do you, do you know now? Do you feel what I'm talking about when I talk about feel? This is feel. Okay, where you're playing the game and you're almost starting to relate things that you see to things in real life. And there's a feeling attached to that. That's what I mean. 
And I want to accomplish that in the cyberpunk city today. No, I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> what are you talking? I didn't go anywhere. I was just right around here, just looking through uh, my chest or something. I didn't know. No, fly. No, no, I would never. Um, oh. So the way we're going to create this feel, and this was something that Impulse brought up early on that I think is really good. These roads. Here, cheap fly cam. Here we go up. These roads. Intentionally, you know, very in initially I had them just going like boom, 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 straight perpendiculars to get an idea impulse said we should not we should have roads teen off into buildings and i think that's a very smart idea what that's going to create for for us is kind of a chaotic feel where you're going to feel really enclosed so if we were standing here and this road went all the way to the end over there you would see the outside of the map and you'd it wouldn't feel as tight and claustrophobic as it should so I want to get this building in right here, which is going to be humongous. The size of this city block, actually. And our favorite, diorite, will be included. I want to get uh, a building here, a building here, 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 here. So I want to get like this street worked out. Impulse and I have already worked on a building that's going to go here. Um, and I certainly don't want to be covering this up. So that's going to stay for a little while. But the buildings that kind of make a U-shape right here, that's what we're going to focus on today. It's going to be a lot, a lot of building. And I say today, but I mean over the next week uh, or a couple days. Who knows? But anyway, I uh, stop farting around, B-dubs. Let's dig in. Let's start building. You know, I made a promise. I made a promise last at the end of last season to include more sneeze sneezes in my videos, more sneeze transitions. A cute. I just had a real sneeze in real life, and I waited. I waited to hit record until my sneeze was over, and I, I, I should have. I should have hit record and then sneezed. Anyway. We're taking a little break from that short little building session to look at these small builds that we have here. And I thought, you know what? We didn't really discuss the builds we're making. So I wanted to get them kind of laid out here. I like doing that. I like uh, putting the build out there just on a small scale to let your imagination kind of come up with something. And then, um, you know, it's fun to kind of compare it to what it actually ends up being. So uh, here, these ones, Let's talk about these that we just built. These are a couple small ones. We need stuff like this in the city. They can't all be huge, tall skyscrapers. Um, we don't have a tall skyscraper quite yet, but um, small. Some small buildings in the city is a good thing. So that's what these two guys are right here. And I kind of like them. I get the I get the feeling and the vibe with them. It's just a, it's just a couple of garages, you know? This is gonna be more decorative. Um, but I used some black wool there to kind of block the view in because I want it just to feel dark like that. Haven't really figured out what the sign will be, what that place is going to be. But I used a lot of beehives on the top, which I think makes like a really nice trim for this, this color scheme that we have going on here with the lime on the bottom. And actually, there's green. Look at that green in that block. There's green in strip jungle logs so these two work very very well together uh and then you know i'm doing my texture thing where i'm adding some streaks here and there and this is actually going to be pretty covered <laughs> this will be covered uh at some point and then we got this this one here just like a uh you know some sort of convenience store or something like that with the bars in front uh, you know how they have like those the roll roll me down uh, things that cover up like the big windows so po people don't break them. Uh, so that's where we're at. Nothing on the inside of this one. Nothing on the inside of this one. Uh, but I think it's coming along nicely so far using some expensive roof trims as you can see. Now, what we're going to build next. 
This will be a very similar version of this building. These usually show up in groups, and I think we'll do more of these groups of this style of building in other places. But here for the entrance, this is this is like a very important viewpoint, and I don't want to have too much repetition. A little bit of repetition is fine, but like mix up different styles of buildings and colors, and just when they first come into this area, I want it to feel crazy and chaotic. Lots of differentiation. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a second. But this will be the color scheme here. And it'll be more of a red version of this building. Uh, we'll, of course, splash some green in there, which is a great color that goes with red. And then I'm thinking to kind of like simulate a little bit of light coming out of an area. This crimson works really nice for like a pink light against the mangrove wood. Mangrove doesn't have many colors to texture with. It's a very dark red, and this is about as close as you get when it comes to texturing. Of course, the mangrove log itself uh, kind of works in there as well. There's no red in it, but it blends well. So that'll be the color scheme for that one, and it'll be a similar building. Then there will be a nice alleyway here. Next, this guy. I want big contrast. We're going, look at these two buildings next to each other. We talked about this one before with the diorite in the mud. Uh, that's going to be a very bright building. This one's going to be very dark. This is a heavier contrast than you'd see in maybe normal real life. If this, if we wanted this to look like super realistic, I think we'd do the whole city out of like stone and just some subtle stone variants, but we want to get crazy. So we're going to go super dark. And I think this is going to look cool. So the top trim will be kind of a mix of cauldrons and this uh, chiseled deep slate. And then along the sides, we have basalt and some polished deep slate. And then the main structure of the building will be a bunch of mud. Look at all this mud. All this mud, like six to eight stacks of uh, the muddy mangrove roots. Yeah, but they work so well together. They're so nice. Just a, a little like brown hue to the normal mud, which is awesome. And, and dudes, look at this. Look at my mouse. Look at my mouse. I'm going to scroll to one right now. I got so close. I would have never got that close before. I got a new mouse. It's the same mouse I had, and it's third time's the charm. Let me tell you this. The Razer Mamba Elite, okay? <laughs> I'm not sponsored. This is the Razer Mamba Elite. Their motto, if I was to come up with a commercial for them, it would be third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. That's a great product motto. I love the feel of this mouse, uh, so that's why it's the third time I bought it. But it's all it's one time I bought it, and it was like triple clicking every time I would click. The second one I bought, the scroll wheel was messed up. This one feels good. This is third time's a charm. Good business motto. <clears throat> this building will be pink. We're going to get real crazy here. It's going to be uh, a half and half building. I think it'll look pretty cool. One side will be white terracotta, which goes so great with the cherry planks. And then the other side will be the stripped cherry logs with pink wool. And then bone and diorite trim. And, 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 and. I gotta, I gotta mention this. Uh, impulse helped me. Uh, sweet Impulse together. We farmed some of this. What a nightmare to get. I know Green's going to be selling it soon, and he's going to be selling it for a lot of money, so I might need to get used to just farming it. Who knows? But, man, brown, uh, the mushroom stem is such a great, such a great block. So that's what this one's going to look like. It'll be a little interesting, but I think it'll be cool. It'll add to that noise. This building, we talked about the color scheme. We're going to be white and then have some kind of turrets on the side that are this brown color. And you see this color scheme in cities all the time. The interesting thing about this building is, number one, it's humongous. Number two, it's on an angle. Slight. The slightest, most subtle angle. But it's just to make it look a little bit more interesting. These are going to be some big ones. I saved the biggest ones. We're going to go smallest. Second smallest, third smallest, fourth smallest. <laughs> That's a good way to explain it. Good words. Good job using words. Okay. Nice catching up with you guys. I got a new mouse now so I can really fly. No, 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 no. No, I didn't mean that kind of fly. Climb. No, no, no. Not fly fly. I still, I love riding. We're really going to ride, everybody. All right. Stay in there. 
All right, some of you have complained that my wife has not been in enough commercials. Hello, Charlie. Ah, perfect. Uh, honey, could you please put that on for me? Thank you. That's not right. like that. Right. Not like that. Can I just uh, talk to it like this? Yeah, you can just talk it to it. Not that close, though. Hold it a little. I've written down some things for you okay. that I would like you to read. This is for Squarespace. Go ahead. <laughs> With the new fluid engine, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Okay, cut. Sorry. You're delivering it like you're reading. Can you deliver it with some enthusiasm and look here? This is the camera. Okay. Thank you. If you have to look down, okay. it's okay. With the new fluid engine, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Getting the look you want has never been easier. All right, you laughed a little bit when you said that, but that's okay. <laughs> well, I can fix it. Okay. Ever wanted to make custom merch? That, that was good. <laughs> can you do that again? Ever wanted to make custom merch? SQSP. No, no, Squarespace. <laughs> that's shorthand. Man, that's shorthand for Squarespace. Ever wanted to make custom merch? Squarespace gives you the tools to design your products and production, inventory, and shipping and handling. With S... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And action. A little further from... Yeah, a little further from your mouth so you don't peek. That's good. Right. And action. With Squarespace detailed analytics, you can analyze which parts of your site are most effective and learn where your sales and visits are coming from. Wow, that's fantastic. Unfortunately, she botched the last scene so bad we have to dub it over. So uh, head to the link in the description or go to squarespace.com slash B00100 to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, there it is from a distance, and I just think I, I think I just saw Scar landing in there. He, this, there's going to be a couple views that are going to be important for this city. <laughs> Scar sees it. Uh, and the far away view, we're going to slowly but surely work on the skyline, and I think it looks good far away. That's stage one. I'm going in a hole. Ooh, that was close. That's stage one of what's important. Stage two is now this. How does it look when you're kind of close up like this and going down the streets? And I think it looks good. Scar? Scar? He was going around hawkeyeing people earlier and, uh... Oh, there he Yeah, see? He tried again. Don't. This is, this is the end of my horse. This is it. The horse is over. Oh, no. Okay, let's be very... There he is. <laughs> oh, I don't even like this game. I don't like this game. This is bad game. Well, while we're playing this game, we're kind of getting a view. You can see some unfinished areas. These are going to be covered. Why waste good materials when they're just going to be covered anyway? And you know what? I would never. Oh! I would never. <laughs> I would never. No! No! Put down thy weapon. I, okay. Okay. It's down. It's down. All right. All right. Hey, watch it. No, no, <laughs> I'm joking, no, I'm joking. no. I'm just being a rap scallion. Okay. All right, rap okay, scallion. Okay, can't be beat up. You can do it. You can, here, I'm going to walk away for your horse. Shoot me. Just shoot me. Just, you can do it. Just Are do you it. serious? Do you want to? Yeah. Do you need to set your spawn? No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, my horse. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
it went through the horse. Scar, I don't want this thing. <laughs> I went to eat something, mm -hmm. and I realized at the last minute, danger flashed through my eyes. The horse was running for the carrot. <laughs> oh, you would have lured it in. Well, I, I would no, have I shot just, it. I was hungry. Oh, only you would have done it yourself. Only bad things when you're near this horse. Only bad things can happen. You remember that ad you made a while back with, with your wife and you were like, she gaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. He building. He building. <laughs> what in the world? Yes. He built more than like the entire server in an hour. Like, yeah. He's been going crazy. You know what? Etho told me oh, a hot couple. Tub. Nice. Hey, join me. Uh, yeah. Hot, hot tub. Ooh, nice. very nice. Uh, Etho told me a little I'm while. Sorry, night. We're, we're actually, it's the horse we were, I was talking to the horse. Oh, the horse. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Continue. Continue. We're just chilling over here. Etho told me that maximum somebody can place in a day is 50,000 blocks. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to put that to the test. And you know what this was? This was only uh, 20,000, 20 to 30,000. About really? 30,000. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, a full day of material collection as well. So. True, true, kind true. Of, yeah. Do you think uh, he did that math on the calculator on his desk? Let's find out. Oh no. I love the billboard up here with the palm trees. Okay. That's that really cool. that makes me feel good because I didn't know. That was the one thing I was questioning, like, eh, does it look okay? I like it. I like it. It's um yeah, it's neat. Especially with the glass and stuff. I think it comes off really cool. Yeah. And then you have like the billboards the up there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh hey, hey. Sorry if you're busy. This is very important. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's fine. I haven't looked up yet. No, feel free. Look up. Look up all you want. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was like extreme home. Oh, I love the time. billboard. You oh, love the billboard. So cool. hey, let's go. Okay. Wow. Two comments on the billboard. I didn't think that was going to be that good. You got the air conditioning unit sticking out the yep. window there. Yep. 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 The question we, I had, uh, Scar and I both had, I was kind of using your calculation of 50,000 blocks a day for this. Right. Loose calculation. Loose. loose. Oh, loose. Okay. That's oh, what we were wondering. he's hedging his bets, beat ups. Hmm? <laughs> he's hedging his bets. Hedging his bets. Yeah. Yeah. How loose then? Are you maybe, maybe 10,000, give or take, or? Well, if anything, it's more. More? I think, yeah. Interesting. Okay. And this is also in a repetitive pattern, I imagine, yes? Yeah, not like changing blocks up constantly. This is like three or four different blocks. Right. Okay. I can't remember, though, if I dug out the tunnel on the same day or if I just built. I think I dug and built. Dig and build. Okay. So that, that takes a little off as well. Did you account for bathroom trips? Sneak off to the side. Okay. Dude, this is insane. This feels like something out of Star Wars. All right, listen, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what I just saw, but I just saw something at Ethos Base. And I was, uh, I mean, I'm a big Etho fan, all right? But uh, I've, I've had a bit of a jaw drop moment. So if his video's not out yet, hopefully it is. But uh, he's got some cool stuff to show you guys. It's all top secret. All right, so we kind of got, we were running away from Scar and uh, Etho swung by. I don't know. I don't know how much of that you'll see. But I wanted you guys to hopefully get an idea. We got two comments on the billboard. So I tried doing a little billboard pixel arty thing. I don't know if this is going to stay, to be honest. Um, but I think it does look cool. It looks cool from a distance. looks kind of cool. They both come in, sorry, had a burp, both commented on it close up. So that's good. I'm glad they like it. Um, but yeah, overall, here's the look, here's what we got going on. And I think it's feeling really, really good. Now this building right here, I don't know. <laughs> This building is humongous, and it's all diorite. And I think the fact that it's all diorite, I mean, the fact that it's so big makes all the diorite okay. 
That's what I meant to say. It's so big that all that diorite, it just kind of blends and it feels okay. All of this stuff, I want to get it on the server, start giving visuals for Impulse and I to start messing around with. This is concept art. So we're putting a concept out there and things could change. Once we get more calcite, maybe B-Dubs does more calcite in here and stuff as materials come more readily available. The inside, we go take a peek in the inside. This is like a plain space. I think we could put tons of billboards and graffiti all over things to make it look cool. Uh, here's the inside. I'm so scared to be in here because this is like a humongous just ravine. Uh, don't have the floors in or any of that stuff yet. We're just getting these first stages done and taken care of. Even this pink one. I don't think I did the floors in here as well. Let's see. No. Here's the floors right there. I'll do those soon. But I think this pink one turned out pretty good. It actually fits. So you see what I mean with like all the color difference and stuff? It makes it feel more busy and more claustrophobic. But we're going to take it up another level. We're going to go even more claustrophobic. I have something here called um, a box full of how many chains is this? A lot of stacks of chains. Okay. We're going to be doing power lines. Power lines all over the place. And that's going to make this place feel very real. Wait, where's... I left Climb. <laughs> of course! See, this is what happens. Climb, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I actually... It, I was gone for a long time in Etho's basement. I just came up from the basement. Not flying or anything like that. Of course. <clears throat> oh. Man, talk about landscaping. You know we were doing landscaping stuff last episode. You want to know the master? <laughs> I mean, Scar's a master. Pearl. Pearl is just killing. Look at how this feels in here. So good. So quaint. So cozy. So beautiful. I love, I love the landscape stuff she's been doing. It just feels, look at this area when you come in. So, so cool. All right, love you so much, love you, thanks for the ride back home, and locked in forever. Perfect. Okay, time to start really making these streets. We're going to go the next level of detail. This looks cool as is. We're going to make it look even cooler. We're going to make it way more interesting. Is somebody near me? I heard a footstep. That scared me. Maybe it was these frog lights. We're going to do tons of power lines and some other stuff in the middle of the road. Time to get the decorating started. Right, from a distance, I'm guessing. From a distance, it's going to be not much of a change. <laughs> Wires to infinity. Uh, that'll, that'll be capped off eventually. Yeah, not much of a change from a distance, but I did just want to get another look at it again. And... Okay, cool. We did... What we just did was a lot of stuff in the city. The close-up. Level 3 detail, and can't see it very very well from far away, but as we get closer, here we go, and this is really going to shine at night. Hopefully, we can stay up a little bit. Uh, actually, I'll ask. Little bit of nighttime, please, good looking. He, that should uh, sweeten the pot a little bit. Okay, so what did we make? What did we make here? We've got, oh, what a sweetie. He said, you got it. Biggest impact thing. This is supposed to be dystopian, run down. So people have kind of just gone crazy and taken over structurally after everything collapsed. So bus, broken down bus, rip off the side and make like a little market stall there. So, I mean, all of this needs even more detail, but this gives the idea, the general idea. Scaffolding and bridges going across, and my goodness, <laughs> these, these trap doors are so expensive. Have I not talked about this? It's not ingots to make these. It doesn't take six ingots. To make an iron trap door, it's just four ingots. This takes 36 ingots of copper to make. 
Hey, this is the editor popping in. I just wanted to let you know when you're building uh, this much and, and recording at this hour, sometimes math just slips away. So nine times four is correct, 36. But what we were doing there is the math problem of nine times six, which is 54. Even worse, 54 ingots. Totally understandable mistake to get that math problem wrong. Four, six blocks of copper to make these trapdoors, but they look so good. They're so perfect for something like this that I had I had to do it. Uh, we've also got, we got a little bus stop here because we have a bus, of course. So we got to have bus stops and like as if the word bus was like scrolling through this small sign, you know, it's like a bus stop sign. And then this is going to be really cool. I'm very excited for this. The street signs. Uh, doesn't that look like a good street sign? And I'm thinking we actually number and name all the streets appropriately. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, even streets go one direction and then odd streets go another direction. And they grow. The number gets bigger going in this direction and bigger going in this direction. I think that's how it works. So for people to be able to get around here and to know that, that that's how streets work, I think it'll be cool. So this is 112th Street right here. And then this one is 114th Street. Now, granted, some of these streets are fairly short, but it works. And then this is 55th. The next one over will be 57th Street. You get it, right? I think it'll be really cool. But here we are at nighttime. This is where this area is really going to pop, okay? Because you start to see some of the, the rundown some of the glow starts to pop out a little more, the little glow there, and the signs glow a little bit more. And then I worked out like a little bit of a traffic light thing, like um, more of a modern or updated one. A uh, slime block works really well for like a lit green light, and then that's like a dim yellow and a dim red. Hard to get. I tried using the redstone blocks for an on red light, but... Red doesn't really push. It doesn't shine very much, so it's hard to tell. Um, that's actually wool in there because that shines a little better, believe it or not. Uh, but, oh man, I love how this place feels. It's dangerous. It's currently dangerous. I did, like, I did block off a lot of stuff, and I've got a lot of the light levels appropriate, but it's still not perfect. So, um, enjoy your nighttime view you just got. Uh, we're, we got to go back to daytime. Now, this is like 13 stacks of, of chains. 13. Ooh, hi, ha, ha. We have tons of iron. Hey, yeah. So getting the material for these chains isn't a problem as it would normally be. Placing them is a problem. Their hitbox is so small that placing them is just so delicate and takes so long. If it wasn't so difficult, I would double. I would double. I'd have these sort of changes going crazy. Building the whole city in one episode? The whole city done in one episode. I mean, let's let's take of of cheap fly and see really how much of a chunk did we take out of this thing? <laughs> Most I've seen you on three seasons. That's not true. We took a big chunk out. I mean, all these buildings back here, that's a lot. This is all a lot. So there's still a lot to go. But we did take a big chunk out of this thing, which feels really good. Sorry, climb. Sorry, sorry, I got off you. But I hope you guys can feel what I'm feeling. I'm really feeling this city, especially at nighttime. We got a little alley back here. There will be a building here. We'll have an alley that goes back there. Hi, me. And now, since everybody has their wings, we have to check it out from fly view. Okay? People are going to be flying in. Aha. I mean, this is a big building. This is a very, very big building, but we've got to have some of those to fill out the space, I think. And, you know, allow a lot of room for... Impulse to do his wizardry redstone magic. Oh, yeah, the billboard looks really cool from far away. That's cool. Like a tropical, tropical resort thing. It is pretty cool. But from the sky, I think it looks nice. Overall, I think we got a really, really cool thing in today. Hopefully, it gets everybody excited for uh, what's to come in this city. 
But anyway, why did the B-dubs build all this so much so fast? Apparently all the mothers in my children's school have a PhD and they've diagnosed some of the children with the norovirus? Norovirus. And one of my daughters has been homesick for two days. So I'm sure it's, it's, I'm next. I'm next. So I thought, you know what? If I'm going to get an episode done, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it before it hits me. So when you're watching this, I'll probably be, you know, doing all the things a norovirus. Noro? Noro? What? But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're excited for what Impulse and I have going on in this city. Trust me. It's not just going to be beautiful, it's going to be epic. I'm, I'm very, very excited for what's going on here. But anyway, I love you guys to death. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.